Scottie Pippen, one of the most talented NBA players of all time, one of the very top small forwards, one of the few players that you could say could almost cover all five positions. Nobody, nobody could probably cover all five, but he can cover four of them definitely. Scottie Pippen, who was famous for being Michael Jordan's co-star, but you can argue he was the greatest co-star of all time. Great ball handler, long arms, big hands, great lateral quickness. He knew how to guard with his body. He knew, you know, great man defender, on-ball defender, solid post defender, uh, good in zone defense. You know, he can score. He had a, a solid mid-range jump shot, athletic. He could do everything. His IQ was tremendous. You could say he was a bit of a floor general at times, could be a point forward, whatever the case. Scottie Pippen, who went to Central Arkansas, gets drafted by the Seattle Sonics, I believe it was 1987. He's traded to the Chicago Bulls, and when he goes to Chicago, Michael Jordan is already in a full lather. He's already the best player, or damn near the best player in the NBA, and he's already pretty much iconic. He's not legendary yet, but he's Kind of iconic already by 87, 88. So you get into the 90s. They get to the finals after struggling for years against the Bad Boy Pistons. They finally get past Detroit. Pippen took his bruises, his bumps, like everybody else. They get to the 91 finals. Scottie Pippen, great defense on Magic Johnson. Um, the Bulls three-peat. Jordan... A lot of things are going on professionally, personally. He steps away from basketball. Pippen, now he's the star. Now, in the midst or right at the beginning, Pippen signs a horrible contract with the Chicago Bulls, and he signed a contract where the CBA for the NBA would be coming up and renegotiated before his contract ran out. So, Pippen and his agent not acting with the future on their mind, but acting as far as we want, you know, longevity as far as a contract. They sign a poor deal because when Pippen's contract is over, he would have missed out on so much money. If he took a shorter deal, he could have renegotiated for big money in the mid 90s, but he messed up his own money. So, Pippen, his insecurities have always been a part of him in many ways. He came from a small school. Uh, he, he probably was insecure. Seattle drafted me, but they traded me. You know, I'm second to Michael. Michael gets all the credit. Uh, I have a bad contract. Michael and no one is helping me get out of the contract. And all these type of things. Now, when Jordan retires, Pippen, you know, it wasn't that he was happy but he did feel like, okay, I can prove how important I was. But Pippen didn't realize everything that comes with being the top star and the number one guy. So at some point he does realize everything that Michael Jordan and the person in that role actually has to deal with. And that's when you get the famous shot of Pippen on the bench and he lifts up his sneaker and points at it and it's Jordan's. And then he basically is like, uh, Michael, come back, basically. That famous, infamous shot. So, Jordan comes back, and they three-peat again. Now, the whole time, Pippen is saying, I don't want to be in Chicago. I want a new deal. You know, Pippen was almost traded for Tracy McGrady in 97 draft. He was almost out of there for Tracy McGrady. Almost. The 98 finals happens, they win, Jordan retires, or he's going to retire, Phil Jackson's gone, everyone, it's, the Bulls are over, Pippen ends up in Houston, now, Pippen and Barkley always had a little bit of a up and down relationship, Scottie Pippen is an insecure person, he's insecure about 
his finances. He's insecure about his appearance. He's a, in, he's insecure about the women he's with or whatever the case. Charles Barkley has always been and still is a jokester. Pippen is or, or Barkley, you know, he he's loud. He's he, he he's a personality. So their personality sort of clashed over the years. And um so they get to Houston and it's a disaster. Alonjoan is older. Rudy Tomjanovich, you know, still a great coach. Um but the whole Barkley Pippen Alonjoan, it just didn't mesh, it didn't work. Barkley was worn down and slower and it just wasn't the same, and it didn't work. Pippen viewed it as, okay, I'm on my own team, and I could be the star, and I can prove I can lead, and I have Hakeem, who's great, and Barkley, who was great, and nothing happened. So Pippen goes to Portland. Now Pippen is once again, okay, I'm on Portland. I have my own team, and we have Rasheed Wallace and Arvita Sabonis and you know they, you know, um, Portland had some great teams when Pip when Pippen was there. They had great teams. Brian Grant, um, I think eventually Dell Davis, uh, you know, Derek Anderson, Damon Stoudemire. They had some great teams. They had a young Jermaine O'Neal who got no playing time, but that Portland, you know, Steve Smith. They had some great Detlef Shrimp. Great roster. I remember growing up as a kid in two thousand two thousand one. When you played the NBA 2K on Dreamcast, the Blazers, 2K, 2K1, the Blazers always had like the best rated team because on paper, they had a great team. But, um, and they were great. They they would, they would have 50 win seasons. They were great. They, they almost got to the finals versus Kobe and Shaq. But once again, it didn't work. And Pippen was still good on the Blazers, but obviously he, he got older and his role was kind of different. But, he was never able to feel that insecurity of being as good as Michael or being the number one top guy, and that always bothered him. So, what you see now, Scottie Pippen, in present day is he's still dealing with that illness of his own insecurity. So now he's he's just saying things. In this, in this world, you, you cannot get emotionally stirred up by things people post or say or do because most people are just saying things out of wanting a reaction or a different motive you have to have game on life scotty pippen is making ridiculous claims he's he was saying he's better than jordan he's more talented than jordan this person's better this person phil jackson is this and then this person wasn't this it, it's, it's the same nonsense this is scotty pippen but then he'll go back and say, oh, Michael was the greatest. He makes no sense. He sounds bipolar. He probably is. But I don't give a shit. This man's mental breakdown is content for me. <laughs> Love Scottie Pippen, but I ain't a fan. I ain't a fan of nobody, so fuck him. This is content. But um, that's the insecurity of Scottie Pippen, and there's much more. But this ain't a gossip channel. So uh, go to... Uh, Go, go to someone else for gossip. But Scottie Pippen's raging insecurity is something that's always shined through more than his talent, more than his skill, even more than his accomplishments. Scottie Pippen, like I said, is one of the greatest basketball players that ever walked the earth. Scottie Pippen, another player who's better than LeBron James. Scottie Pippen, another player who, if he played today, he would dominate. Now, if he played, if Pippen, if Pippen played today, he'd be the MVP like four years in a row. He he'd have championships on his own because the NBA is the worst it's ever been. But uh, Scottie Pippen, a legend, an icon, one of the fifty greatest, um, you know, multi-time All Star. He has the rings, obviously, you know, all types of things. But his insecurity has always been his weakness. I hear Michael Jordan's son is popping his ex-wife. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? I got to get up out of here. This is, this is about to go somewhere else. Uh, hit the like button, share, hit the cash app. And with that said, uh, Scotty Pippen. Uh, he, there was no way that Houston team was going to do anything. Portland was close. Portland was close. I really love them Portland teams. But um, but and, and those teams they did not fail because of him. It's just 
those weren't the teams that were going to get to where he wanted them to go as far as that championship. But, um, I, I don't know. Love Pippen, but just certain things he says and does and the way he's acted for over 25, 30 years, it's just ridiculous. But, uh, I don't know. People are how they are for whatever reason. And that is it.